Clarice has retrieved idea by herself. What does that even mean? That was a hint. <laughs> they came. What does that hint mean? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping onto the Sega Saturn to check out Nights into Dreams, a Sega Saturn game that actually, interestingly enough, was the game that led to the development of the Sega Saturn analog uh, controller, which is kind of cool, actually. Um, this is a, I guess it's a 2D side-scrolling game. But it's 3D, um, so it's not, it's not like Mario 64. It's kind of more like uh, Crash Bandicoot, I think. Um, and I say I think because I've never played this. I've only seen screenshots and videos and stuff. But uh, you kind of scroll around flying through the air, um, doing loops and stuff. Uh, you don't get to move in full 3D like Mario 64. You're more sort of in two dimensions like Crash Bandicoot. Um, but, uh, nonetheless, uh, the Sega Saturn, um, had a controller that was very similar to sort of the Genesis's six-button controller. The Sega Saturn just basically added bumpers to the left, uh, and right, but otherwise just had the same six-button layout as the six-button Genesis controller. But then when they made Night Into Dreams, I guess they decided, you know, we need an analog stick, and they actually introduced one, so that's kind of cool. I don't have an analog stick controller on me, so I'm not using that today. However, fun fact about this game, there does exist a Christmas-themed mini version of this game, and I may check that out one year for Christmas, and I'll save it for Christmas when I actually have the analog stick, because there's no rush. So, uh, yeah, anyway, today, let's go ahead and hop in here, and we do not want to be called Knights. We want to be called Jay. I wonder if I could come up with sort of on the spot a dreamlike version of my name. How about Jay? Jayish? Sounds like an elvish name to me. <laughs> also just sounds like I am kind of of the property of Jay. Uh, anyway, um, this game is about a couple of teenagers who end up in Nightopia, which is the dream world where all dreams take place. Who would have guessed with a name like Nightopia? Seems pretty obvious, but we can be Clarice or Elliot. Oh, I guess they have like different worlds that they go through. Uh, I kind of like the mountain landscape, so Clarice, you're in. You're up to bat. She's like, huzzah! Now, Clarice here obviously is bullied in school. I mean, look at the look at the clothes she's wearing there. She is not the cool kid in school. I'm sorry, Clarice. You look like a fine person, but, um... Oh, what happened? <laughs> Whoa! Wait, what was... what? What's just occurring right now? Am I in control? I don't even know. All right, we are running around. Oh, wait, you know what? I'm totally wrong. Hey, she became a jester. Uh, I did sort of have full 3D control like Mario 64. That's interesting. Um, anyway, flying around through wing, uh, rings. This is kind of like... You know what this reminds me of? Of Superman 64. You guys know in Superman 64, the AVGN nerd has... Uh, I guess AVGN nerd is a little redundant. But the AVGN has definitely mocked Superman 64 because the premise is you're playing as Superman and all you want to do is like fight crime and stuff, but you got to fly through rings. Well, this game is technically all about flying through rings it makes no apologies but maybe this is a game that did it right so we'll actually get to see a good game about flying through rings but uh but yeah this is it flying around i read that the development team came up for the idea with this game or the reason that flying is like the main mechanic is because they wanted to um capture that experience when you're in dreams of feeling like you can fly um, and I don't know if you guys have uh, had dreams where it feels like you can fly, but they are amazing dreams. Um, I haven't had one in ages, though, actually. I've actually had dreams way back in the day where I was swooping around on buildings like Spider-Man, and that was actually pretty fun, like web-slinging. That's that. Now, that's a category of dream I wish was way more frequent. But yeah, I guess so. this is you just flying around in different areas. Can you, like, kill these rabbits or ducks or whatever they're flying? I don't even know. Um, I don't 100% know what I'm supposed to be doing, but what I'm going to do is just get all these rings as quickly as I can. And hopefully that's enough. Oh, and there's even... Okay, we're blowing up like a nightmare cube or something, I think. Oh, and there's stars and stuff too. Oh, we only have 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, come on, be enough. 
Wow, we barely made that. Okay, I should experiment more with the uh, buttons because they do seem to do stuff. Oh, what happened? I lost all my magic powers. Now she's just a feeble girl. Get in the egg. Get in the egg. Oh my god. I'm like running out of time so bad. Okay, get up here. Become the jester. I merged with the jester. Two... Two mare? I think I, somehow I'm fending off nightmares. I think that's what's going on in this game, so we'll just kind of go with it. Um, but yeah, this is it. Sort of flying around, doing funky stuff. I don't want to go in the background there. Is there any way to do that? I'm experimenting with the buttons here. I guess not. Um, oh, although, hello. Boom, there we go. Okay, so you can kind of rotate around these things. The, the dimensionality of this game is, like, perplexing me because it's technically a 2D game, but it operates in, like, a 3D space, and, like, I don't fully understand the rules of this reality. I feel like a two-dimensional being that's just been introduced to the third dimension. I'm like, what is this extra dimension you speak of? How do I traverse it? What is this back-forward nonsense? There is only up, down, left, right. So I probably look, uh, to anyone who actually knows how to play this game, maybe I'm, uh, doing quite poorly. I can't, you know what, I, <laughs> I can't even tell if I'm doing good or bad. <laughs> that's a, that's an interesting experience. Normally in a video game, when you're doing bad, you're like, oh man, I'm doing horrible. When you're doing good, you're like, oh yeah, watch me rock it, I'm crushing it. But in a game like this, I'm like, what's going on even? Is it, are good things happening or bad things happening? Am I behind? Am I ahead? Like, what happens if I hit this thing? Okay, nothing, nothing. I might even honestly have to go look up instructions for this. A lot of games, especially once you start getting to like the Sega Saturn era, um, for me, I just, you know, as a kid, I barely read instructions. Um, so I would just pop into games. I think we've talked about this before, you know, like uh, when you rented video games as a kid, oftentimes the instructions were not included. Um, basically because they would get stolen and stuff from, like, Blockbuster or whatever. So, oh my god, what's happening? So, I didn't read instructions mainly because I didn't have access to instructions, like, 90% of the time. Um, wait, we have to go this way. So, it's like, I just, it's just, I don't know how I was raised on video games, but, uh... What is happening? Where do I have to go? Oh god, she's getting electrocuted to death. Get up! Don't fall down the mountain! Okay, so we want to go this way. This bendy arrow is, like, all over the place. Okay, but it wants us to bend over here, I guess. Up here. Yeah, so I guess the, the bad guy in this is called Nightmarin. Um, and supposedly, so as I said, the, the development team for this game um, did research into sleep and REM sleep specifically, and Carl Jung's theories of, like, personality and stuff. And so supposedly, theoretically, uh, this game is sort of based on some degree of scientific accuracy. I don't, I mean, not, not even scientific accuracy, but, uh, cause Carl Jung was definitely not a scientist, but I don't know what you could say, like, some degree of academic research. Which is kind of interesting, because I don't think anyone, if you just looked at this game and you didn't know that, I don't think anyone would look at this and be like, ah, oh, yes, clearly based on the reality of what dreams really are. It just sort of seems like a, a fever dream of Japanese flying experience. Which, you know, is what it is. It is what it is. Um, this game was also developed by the Sonic team. And fun fact, they were, they came up with the idea for this game uh, while they were working on Sonic 3. Or not, not Sonic 3, Sonic 2 even. Um, it, it'd be, it's interesting to imagine if they actually tried to make this game on the Sega Genesis. I could almost see it working. I mean, you would have to tone down all the 3D stuff. But, I mean, this kind of gameplay, like, I think you could have, you definitely could have made this on like a 2D console, like a Sega like Genesis or, uh, you know, Super Nintendo. It probably wouldn't have been nearly as impressive graphically. But you could have done it. Like, the gameplay itself. Oh, we're getting the hang of this. Oh, we are getting the hang of this. Okay, we messed one up there. Oh, we got that thing, too. All right. I think now I'm starting to understand how things work. It is actually kind of cool once you get into the flow of things, like flying through all these rings and stuff. But we are running out of time. 
We need to hurry up. Oh, I made it into the thing just in time. Hot delivery of uh, stuff. Oh, I fell out of the thing. Okay, so I, I don't fully understand what makes me run out of time. That part I'm... What is this egg here? Nothing. Uh, running out of time, I don't fully understand. I think it's something to do with the blue balls. You don't collect enough of the blue balls, and I think you run out of time. And you can rotate the camera, so that's handy. But okay, they want us to go up like this. Ow, what keeps getting me? What was that? There's like a laser beam chasing me. Is this thing good or bad? It's like a clock that sprung from an egg. Did a good thing happen or a bad thing? Game over! <laughs> Night over. See, this is what I mean where like, I can't even tell if I'm doing good or bad. I can't even tell what's an enemy and what's a good guy in this. Clarice has retrieved idea by herself. What does that even mean? That was a hint. <laughs> they came, what does that hint mean? It's, it, oh, oh my God. I've been pulled into a world of Japanese nonsense. <laughs> Oh man, okay, let's try the kid. Or not, the, they're both kids, they're both teenagers, but let's try the dude, I should say. I like how it shows her score right now is an F. I assume that's her score, but she's not doing so hot. Can we just like different worlds or anything? I guess not, eh? All right, let's just go in here. All right, Elliot. Hopefully you can bring it, bro. In Splash Garden, the affection. Whatever that means. Let's do this. Oh my god, what? I'm getting attacked by birds. Birds attack me, that is not cool. All right, come here. You know, it's not even like I put on a jester suit because, oh, there's like a beach and stuff. This is kind of cool. Um, there's a jester in that little, uh, you know, gazebo or whatever, dancing around. And when I touch him, I merge with him. So it's not even like um, I'm putting on a jester outfit. It's like I'm literally becoming the jester. That is what's happening in this game. So I don't, I don't know how to, I don't know how to interpret what that even means or what's going on. But um, anyway, let's just. What I've learned from this game so far is that you want to go through the rings. Oh yeah. Then you want to go up into this thing and make it explode. Then you want to go search for more rings. Boom, boom. Oh, here we go. This is kind of a cool, I, I actually was more interested in the mountain before, but now, like, look at this valley. Like, this is a pretty cool looking valley. Got lots of uh, beaches and stuff. I, I approve. I like this. Cool. No idea how to get into the background still. There's tons of rings and stuff. I don't know how you get there. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep going around the way I'm going. Um, oh, hello. We'll do this. We'll do this. And we'll do this. Presumably this will be enough to make this guy explode. We just gotta like speed things up. I'm just gonna go fast. I'm just gonna go fast. Oh, hello, rings. Rings, rings. Oh my God, when you go fast, it's like really hard to control yourself. Oh my God, and I'm missing everything. Okay, I think we got some of that stuff, some of that stuff. Kaboom. Oh, he's still not dead yet. All right, get these, this. Does going in the water help me or hurt me? I can't tell. Oh, I only have 12 seconds left. 10, 9, I am like missing everything too. 6, 5, okay, let's speed up. 3, 2, come on, blow him up. Oh, what? He didn't blow up. He didn't die. Okay, somehow he killed me. All right, well, wait, why does it want me to go back to him? Like, see, this is the part I don't get. They're like, they have an arrow pointed at him. Like, the arrow's still pointed at him. Did I just jump in again? What does this even do? Jump! Or no, now the arrow's telling me to go here? Very confused. We get this clock. You know, the clock is out to kill us. Let's, uh, let's bolt. See ya! I don't trust this red arrow. I don't think it has my best interests in mind. <laughs> gonna run away let's explore this land a little bit here night into dreams when you find yourself in nightopia feel free to walk around and explore things okay, here we go this is where the jester is wait what ow what can i not get him come on buddy ow what 
Okay, I guess we will follow the arrow then. Oh my god. I don't know what, what's going on with this thing, but... We're going to run from it. Leave me alone! Run! There's a giant clock from an egg trying to kill me! Okay, here we go, Buster. Down you go. I'm so confused. I think I need to find another blue orb. I think that's the secret. Okay, we just lost. <laughs> On level one. I'm determined to figure this out, guys. This game came out in like 90 whatever. You shouldn't need like an obscure obstruction manual. Okay, here we go. How to play. Destroy idea captures with blue, 20 blue chips. Advance the next course by setting recovered idea on idea palace. Okay, so I think the orbs that get stolen from us at the beginning are called ideas. They get captured into thingies that you have to destroy with 20 blue chips. And then we advance the next course by bringing the ideas back. Okay, that that's that makes sense. But how did how come I ran out of chips and how come I couldn't go back and get more suits? There's a bit of there's still a bit of question or some questions that I have game. You could explain. Um, dream data. What's the dream diary? Let's see that. What are these kids writing in their dream diary? There is none. <laughs> oh, options. Two verses. Wait, what? Hold on. Uh, how do you select one of these? Okay, that didn't do anything. Hold on. I want to come in here and... Uh, select that? Okay. I think that actually might just be the option screen. Yeah, okay. There's there's nothing you can do. All right, let's uh, pick this kid again. We're going to hop back into the action, and we're going to pass level one. I'm starting to get a better feel for this game. Uh, what happened? Didn't I say yes? I have no idea, by the way, on a Sega Genesis controller, what button is yes and what button is no. Like, I know that on an Xbox and a PlayStation controller, it's the lowest button. It's the green A button on an Xbox controller or the X button on a PlayStation controller tends to be yes. Um, sometimes they reverse it and the O button on a PlayStation is yes. I know that on Nintendo, they really like to have that A button be yes. So it's like, it's either the lowest or the second lowest. But on a six button controller, I have no idea. I have no idea what yes and what no is. <laughs> I'm just guessing when I'm on the menus. Oh, we, we can go now. Um, okay, so these these things are important. You basically want to make sure you always get those Okay, I'm gonna pay attention to what's going on this time. How about that? I'm gonna pay attention in a video game What a novel concept. Okay, we have nine I'm just gonna keep going. I'm not even gonna try and rescue the thing until I have all the balls that I want Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this We found a whole other area here. Oh, we are rocking it. Oh, yeah, okay. We have 20 we can just straight up end this level whenever we want. I say let's do it. You're done! Bonus! Boom, and then we just fly back to the beginning. Oh my god. Okay, so here's something I've learned about video games. When you know what's going on... Well, we got a D! Oh, well, whatever. When you know what's going on, uh, they can be a hell of a lot easier than when you have no idea what's happening. So taking a minute to try and understand a video game turns out to be a, a good thing. In the end. Okay, so now let's try and get uh, 20 more of these things. All you can do is fly left or right. So I've learned to stop caring about what's in the background and just focus on like what's to your left and what's to your right. All I'm going to worry about. Just going to keep flying in circles until I get enough balls. And then we will presumably crush whatever thing we need to crush. Okay. So I guess when you have to backtrack, it slows you down, and that's why it's not good. Oh, when you bonk your face off the concrete like that, that's not good either. Grab these two. These two. Go, go, go! You're missing them! Don't miss them! We have 16. Oh, if we can get to the middle. Look, the teasing us with those ones like right in the middle. How do I get out of this infinite spin, by the way? <laughs> I'm just trapped. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, stay away. So I guess if you get hit or you run out of time, you lose your balls. <laughs> Which sounds bad out of context. 
I only have 16. Where are the rest? Of, where are the rest of my balls? Where are my balls at, bro? I'm, I'm missing my balls. Okay. I, th I thought there were two in there, but I couldn't quite get to them. 18 seconds left. Oh, there's some balls. Boom. All right, we're at 21. Hey, where's this bad guy that we need to kill? Seriously, where is he? I actually haven't seen him. Oh, there he is. <laughs> All right, we got him. Um, oh, we're never going to make it back to the... Uh... Oh, there we go. Damn it. My balls! My boys! Let's pick these up because I've realized how valuable they are. There we go. All right, we got our balls. Now we just run over here, and I presumably now we can become the jester again. He's going to let us. Yeah. All right. 20 more. Then we got this first level down. What? Why can't I collect these? What's happening there? That's weird. There's balls like right in front of me, but my guy didn't want to take them. <laughs> Again, don't take anything that I'm saying right now out of context. Oh, there we go. There we go. Flying through. Let's deposit these 14 balls because that's a lot of balls. I don't want to lose them by mistake by doing something stupid. Oh, there's a top down part. That's kind of cool. Wee wee. I'm like m missing this a lot. So I'm getting a much better sense of when I'm doing badly. <laughs> Which, you know, before you can be good at a game, you have to understand what it means to be bad. So I, I take this as progress. When you're playing a game and you're like, oh yeah, I'm doing horrible. Then you know that you're starting to understand the game. Okay. We have 11 balls. So we have enough to crush this evil dream thingy easily. Let's go find him. Keep your eyes peeled for any dream capturing devices. I think he was somewhere over here. Really hard to tell. Okay, I'm just gonna go fast and hopefully we can find this thing. We have like 30 seconds. Oh, there he is. Boom, we got ya. Tried to hide from me, eh? Well, it's not gonna work. All right, we're just heading back now. I don't even care about score in this game because, like, I just don't want to lose. We got a D! A new record. Oh, and there's more. All right, we're going to keep going. Oh, there's the first thingy. I was like, where, where are all the, the stuffs? The loops for us to go through. Okay, oh my god, this is so hard to control. I wonder, I mean, I guess with the analog stick this would be like significantly easier but I find it weird that you can only I'm a mermaid you can only go left and right you can't control your back and forth so it's like I see loops and blue hole circles and stuff in the background but I can't get any of that stuff because I can't control like you know whether I'm in the foreground or background so it's like my character just kind of like goes places and I'm, I'm kind of along for the ride. Oh, that, I messed that up. Oh, I'm, I'm missing all of this up. This is really, the controls at this point are really difficult. <laughs> wow, okay, I uh, miffed that like crazy. Like see, I just flew through a bunch of circles that had, uh, you know, blue balls. My guy was like disinterested. He was like, yeah. Oh no. Okay, that just took off health. I thought I was gonna lose balls for that, but I did not. Here you go. We even have some bonus blue balls left. Hey, did I get a blue ball from killing a bad guy? So I guess maybe, can you kill bad guys? Huh. Hey, we're getting solid Ds. We're a D student, guys. Hey, we passed the level. <laughs> D, F, D, G. Oh, what is this, a boss? Um, oh, what am I doing? Oh, I just like threw her into oblivion. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> kind of cool. Ha! Huh. I want to grab her again. Come here, you. And go! And go! Ha! Huh. There we go. Hard to like aim where you're gonna throw. Okay, now now this is just going into like assault. I'm just assaulting this woman. She's like, <laughs> I don't even know if she's an enemy, frankly. Kind of convinced maybe she isn't. Okay, that's a a wall. Now how about this? When she comes near me, I'm gonna throw her into this wall. 
Come here, you. Hey, you. Get over here. Get over here. Wait, minus five? What happened? Get back over here. Watch me spin around. You'll never get through these mega spins. There you go. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing to try and fight this. This woman here. Oh, I grabbed her by the boobs. Sorry, lady. <laughs> Let me grab you by the uh, by the waist belt instead, apparently. Okay, so this is doing nothing. Let's try coming back out over here. Maybe I need to throw her into a wall over here. The first time I grabbed her and threw her into a wall, it totally worked. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong now. Ow. You biatch. All right. Oh. Bah! There you go. Take some damage. Maybe. Boom. Okay, throwing her into the wall does nothing. I think my guy just woke up from a very weird dream. The night is over. He's gonna wake up and be like, what the hell was that? There was like a big fat lady who was a ball? Shove the boss by using a touch dash. You know what? These hints would be better when you started the level game as opposed to giving me them at the end. At the end of the level doesn't help anything. <laughs> What a weird place to put the hints. You know, I get it if you don't want to, like, spoil the game for people. And, like, tell them what to do. And, like, after they fail, you're like, hey, buddy, this is what you should have done. I get that. That's a nice touch for the developers to add in. Uh, as opposed to, like, old games that I grew up on. If you didn't figure it out, it's just like, F you, buddy. Like, good luck. Go cry to your mom. Because you ain't getting no tips from us. Like, they did not give out tips in the NES era. Unless you bought, like, a Nintendo Power or something back to Clarice and see if we can pass her level but at the same time I kind of feel like I had no idea what I was doing there like give me a hint if you're gonna give out hints it'd be helpful to have them in advance <laughs> so you know I don't know anyway so I guess this is that's part of a cutscene. I thought I did something wrong when I first started the level now we have to become jester boy <laughs> with the fly around Rescue the blue balls. All right, I'm just going to look at all these. So you definitely don't see newbie mistake. I didn't know what mattered. So I was not necessarily even going for those blue balls. And like these guys here, like what do they give you? Nothing. Okay, so we can ignore them. They're just bad guys that will distract us. Grab these blue balls here. Nothing down there. Didn't mean to go back in, but why not? Doesn't hurt anything. So I think going through the loops kind of just gives you points. I don't think it necessarily... I thought maybe if you go through, like, the loops, it would unlock more blue balls in the level, but I don't even think that's necessarily the case. Um, I don't know how many more balls I need at the moment. This should be enough. Oh, yeah, I have enough now. But let's collect a few extras so that the next guy we fight is even easier. Okay, and then we're just going to keep going around the front way. So I guess the idea is to get some kind of, like, crazy high score. Um, and, and that's a good thing. Like, you want to go get the crazy high scores. Okay, you can get those. Some blue balls hidden behind the mountain there. Grab these thingies. Like, I am trying to go through the loops, but I'm more concerned about the balls. Like, no ball left behind, man. No ball left behind. Oh, give me those blue balls. Um, oh look, there's even some blue balls over here. Okay, like we could now go to the boss, but I'm kind of getting a little cocky here. I want to try something here. I want to see what would happen if we just went around and we collected like a ton of balls. Like I'm talking about like so many balls. We're going to have all the balls. And then what we will do at that point is we'll just rock like three or four of these bosses at once. That's my strategy. And where are these balls? I know they're hanging around here. Give them to me. Okay, we're not gonna get that one. I've, I'll give up on that one. Be realistic here, but what we can get. Oh, look at all these balls. We have 40 balls, guys. That is more balls than any one person should have in their life. But we can just crush that guy instantly. Then we can come down here and get some more balls. 
Uh, you know what? Maybe I'm getting a hang for this game, because I think once you, you... I think you're not supposed to kill the bosses, like, one at a time. You're supposed to try and, like, rock a bunch of them at once. Like what I'm doing here. Oh, shoot. I missed some balls there. Maybe. I might be close to running out of time, though. Oh, no! I got a ton of time. Oh! When you turn in your thing, you lose all your balls. See, here I thought we could build up an excess of balls so that when we go to fight the next boss, we already have the 40 balls we need to crush him. But it doesn't work that way. But it does work the way such that... Oh, grab these balls. Nope. Grab these balls. Such that if you have a lot of balls when you turn in the gem or whatever that you've rescued, then you get more time. So you do want to get an excess of balls. You don't want to cut it short and just have just the number of balls that you're comfortable with. You want to have, like, so many balls that, like, they're falling out of your pocket. So many balls. Okay, here we go. Boom! Give me the blue balls! Give me those blue balls! Any more? Jeez, that was stingy. Uh, I don't want to I don't want to have to be the one to say it, guys, but you're being stingy with your blue balls here. How about... How about, how about letting me load up on some balls? Yeah, wee! I think I killed a bird. Oh god, if something bounced me. I'm all over the place. Alright, here we go. Oh, here's some balls. Don't think I can't see you up there, you sneaky balls. Alright, let's try and find this boss guy and crush him. Oh yeah, get out of here, birdo. Boom. Alright, we killed him. Now let's uh, collect some excess of balls, I guess. Oh yeah. See, I was beelining it back for the uh, the starting point once I had uh, killed the boss, but I guess you do want to spend some time getting extra points so that, oh my God, so that you build that timer back up. Ah, uh, see, now I'm getting C's in school, guys. I'm getting smarter. <laughs> oh man. Did you guys do good in school? I did horrible. I was not a good student. It's funny, like, I did... What was that? Huh. Is that like an extra life? I did really bad in school because literally when I would... All I would care about is playing, like, Nintendo and stuff. So when I would come home, I literally wouldn't even do my homework. Like, it, it's, it, it astonishes me now what a bad student I was when I was a kid. Like, I would just literally not do my homework. That, that like, blows my mind. It's like just not even doing your job. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess I just, I, like, just didn't care. I, like, just didn't care. Um, but then, you know, my last year of high school, I knew I wanted to go to university, so it's like I actually started doing my homework. And I had actually always done well in, like, math classes and stuff. Math and computers were definitely my thing. Um, so I, I had decent grades in those. But once I started, like, actually doing my homework, I was getting, like, 90s and stuff in, in math. And then I was able to pull, like, English and stuff out of, like, the 60s into like the 80s and 90s as well. So it's like, I, I had like an epiphany in high school at the very end, I was like, hey, if you actually do your work, you get good grades, it's actually crazy. Um, and then, you know, in, in university I actually tried as well. But yeah, as a kid, I was like, if it doesn't start with an end and end with an S and have an E in the middle, I am not interested in doing it after school. So it's like, I just, I just didn't. Um, all right, so this guy, I don't know what we're gonna, gonna do with this guy but okay that didn't work hmm so this guy this is kind of annoying because we just got a tip or a helpful hint on how to fight a boss but it seems like it's gonna have no bearing on this guy maybe we have to like hit him from the front so here we go kaboom okay did that hurt him Seems like maybe it did boom Wait, what happened? It looked like his face came off for a second there. Okay, here we go! Yeah, eat it! Okay, I don't know if we're actually hurting this guy. But we're doing our best! Oh, I punched his face off, and his face regrew. Okay, I'm just gonna keep doing this. Oh, I think his tail is getting smaller. I think his tail is getting smaller. We're actually beating a boss. Okay. Not too bad. Do you know what's going on? Ow. Oh, God. Okay, we only have 20 seconds left, though. 
Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, we missed him. Uh, 10 seconds left. Crap, we're not going to beat this guy, are we? We are not going to beat this guy. Oh my god, I went right into his mouth again. So you do have to have good aim. I wish they gave you one more life. Why is it a one life game? Why is it a one life game? It's one like one life and you're done, buddy. Lure the boss into a parallel. What is that? <laughs> what the hell is that? I don't even know. Okay. I say let's give this one more shot. I want another shot at fighting that uh, monster boss because I feel like I feel like I was kind of figuring it out. And plus, we had a rough start to this game. It took me a little while to get into the groove. I now kind of understand how to pass the levels and what I'm doing, so... You know, I wouldn't mind one more shot. Um, I guess we'll go as the girl? Yeah, we. that was who I picked. To fight the monster, I think. Alright, Spring Valley, the ideal. Let's do this! He gets mugged. And we have to go get everything back. All right. This game does have a little bit of a Sonic the Hedgehog feel to it, honestly. Like, it's obviously not Sonic, but I, I feel like the DNA of Sonic the Hedgehog in this. So it's like, it, it totally makes sense how this was like produced by the Sonic team. Um, but anyway, I do not get the uh, sort of sense, you know, I, I told you they developed this game partially to uh, emulate the feeling of flying when you're dreaming or whatever. I mean, I, technically you're flying, but I don't necessarily feel like I'm dreaming and flying or anything like that. So <laughs> kind of interesting in that respect. Like, I don't know if they totally succeeded. I don't see the influences of like Young and like REM sleep and stuff. Like, I'm like, oh, okay. I mean, I believe you read about it. I don't see any evidence of it being in this game. Maybe it's very subtle. It's like super subtle evidence or something like that. Who the hell knows? But yeah, I, I find that part kind of funny. Like they really wanted to make this academically appropriate. And it's not inappropriate or anything, but it's, uh, you know, doesn't necessarily feel like it has anything to do with the real experience of sleep, other than just sort of like crazy zany things happening. But my dreams are never this coherent and never this fun. If I'm flying, it's usually like uh, kind of a weird flying experience. And as I say, I haven't had a dream where I'm flying in, like, years. Years. I wonder if one day we will be able to control our dreams, and then dreams will just be like a video game. Where you're like, oh man, what do you want to dream about tonight? And, like, you, you look through, like, a library of, like, experiences you can have. Kind of like Total Recall, maybe, even. Like, that would be kind of, that would be awesome, actually. If you could hijack your dreams, and then intentionally dream out scenarios that you want to experience. And then you could have, like, two forms. You could have like the totally narrative form where you're just a passenger uh, playing out this story or you can have like the interactive form where it's like a video game where it's like you're a participant and you can try and make things happen imagine you could control your dreams like that that would be insane i you know what i i i wouldn't put it past the future you know future technology they could they could come up with almost anything so it's like it's it's in the cards i'd say I'm not certain if it will ever actually exist because I'm pretty sure we do need to, you know, our dreams do help us consolidate our memories and stuff. If you start monkeying with them, you might suddenly become an amnesic and have a really hard time remembering things like the guy in Memento. So you may not want to monkey with your dreams, but I have no doubt that it might be possible to do one day. And maybe they'll say like, hey, only monkey with your dreams one day a week. Otherwise you will like cause brain damage or something. And then there will be like mem like junkies who do it like five days a week. Like, people who eat too much McDonald's, you know, which, of course, frankly, I'm guilty of. But it's like, McDonald's isn't bad for you if you only eat it once in a blue moon. It's certainly not good for you, and it's certainly better if, oh, what the heck, if you eat none. Um, but it's weird that we found that. I've never seen that in any of the other runs we did on this level. Um, but, you know, like, it's better to eat no McDonald's, but if you're going to eat some, just eat it once in a while. That's the best way to do it. Um... But of course, people like me and other people eat junk food way more often than they should. And uh, and it's one of those things that like, if you could control your dreams and it wasn't that good for you, but you could do it technically, there would definitely be people who do it way too often. <laughs> so, and it would probably be me as well. Who are we kidding? Who are we kidding, guys? Whoa, whoa, all right. 
I feel like these levels are not nearly as hard as I thought they were the first time through. Um, like, I, I really do feel like I have a feel for this game now. Like, I'm not saying I'm good at it or I'm getting amazing scores or anything, but I at least know how to pass a level and how not to die. So it's like I can tell if I'm doing okay at a level now. You got to get 20 blue orbs. You got to take them to the thingy. So, you know, I appreciate that the developers added those tips. I appreciate that those were added into the game. Um, again, you know, it's it's nice when you play a game and you don't necessarily need even hints. It's just like obvious what you're supposed to do. But, you know, it doesn't mean you can't make a game where it's complicated enough that uh, people should be given some instruction on what to do. I'm not, I'm not like totally anti-instructions. I'm just a lazy, lazy person and I rarely read instruction manuals. <laughs> That's how I was raised. I was raised to be lazy. Um, but uh, I appreciate that they did give you the tips. Um, I do, I, I kind of like, I wish there was a way to get the, the hints and the tips before, um, before you get to the levels of the bosses that you die at. And I don't know how they could have done that necessarily. I kind of get the argument that you might want to like, if you are going to include the tips and stuff, you might want to wait uh, until somebody has failed at a level to give them a chance to like try the level themselves before you like just tell them how to do it. So I get I get that that's probably what they were going for. I just wish there was a middle ground where it's like I could have selected like tip or hint mode where I'm like just give me the hints up front, dude, because like I'm gonna need them. <laughs> anyway, we passed the level. The level's not really even that difficult, and we got to see. We're gradually progressing in our our Nightopia studies, and. We gonna get this guy too. Kaboom! All right. So when you throw his head off, okay. Yes, yeah, so we can do this faster. Ow! Okay. So when you throw his head off, it like regrows right away. Boom! Then if you go this way, you can like be ready to catch him again. Boom! Oh, this is so much easier. Guys, we're getting better at video games. Be proud of us. Look, we have like 79 seconds left. This guy's done, man. We're rocking. We've thrown off so many heads. Yeah, I grow a new head, buddy. I wonder if every new head has like a new personality and a new consciousness, or if it's just like literally his brain's in his butt and the head is just like symbolic. Doesn't matter how many heads he regrows. It's the same him. Boom. Like, wasn't there a character in Men in Black like that? Like Antonio from Wings, whatever that actor's name is. He also played Monk. Um, wasn't he an alien who you could shoot his head off and would grow back? It's like amusing and hilarious, but I mean, obviously the biology of it is that his brain was like in his butt or something, so his head didn't even really matter. <laughs> so, but it's uh, it's terrifying to humans to see somebody's head get blown off, obviously, because that's like losing a very important appendage. The head is perhaps the most important appendage. In fact, it's not even technically an appendage. It's so important as an appendage that it's not even an appendage. Um, because it's got our brains. And our money makers, you know, our face. And that's 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 the money maker, guys. You know, that's how you get girls. That's how you win debates. You know, that, that smarmy smile. You know, the glint the glimmer in your eyes. That's what makes you you. Bonus can up to double depending on how quickly you defeat the boss. Well, damn, son, we just flew through that boss. Does that mean we get a bonus? Wait, what? <laughs> game over? <laughs> All right, I don't understand this game. Uh, Nights into Dreams. I don't know what just happened, I guess. Are there only two levels in this game? I'm so confused. Um, hold on, actually, wait. If we go in, do we now have more levels unlocked with this kid? Is it one of those games where you just unlock levels? Let's just see real quick. I I thought there was like multiple levels. I guess there's, I've read there's like seven dreams. Oh, yes. Okay, so it's like now we could go into a forest with Clarice and we can, there's a different kind of dream. So the mystic forest, the possibilities, the possibilities are endless, Clarice. The possibilities are endless. They've stolen your gems, Clarys. Don't let them get away with it. Kill them all. All right. Take on the form of Jester Man. Merge with his spirit. Exact sweet vengeance on the thieves that have deprived you. 
of your most sacred gems. Look at all these blue things. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm going to start sort of wrapping up my thoughts here uh, as we take a look at uh, Mystical Forest Land here. Uh, I don't even know if I could pass this level. I mean, it's... Oh my god, what's going on? I'm bouncing all over the place. I don't know where I am. <laughs> Whoa, Clarice! Things got real in the Mystical Forest. Um, anyway, Night Into Dreams is one of the games in the book. A thousand one video games you must play before you die. I was really happy to see this game in the book, actually, because it is on the Sega Saturn. And the Sega Saturn's a system that uh, I've enjoyed every time I've checked a game out. You know, it's not like necessarily it's like the best games I've ever played have been on the system, but I do like the fact that we are checking it out because I never really got to check out the Sega Saturn when it was new. So it was a system that kind of flew past me and it kind of feels like a missed opportunity, like a like a gaming blind spot. Um, and so I like chances to go and try systems that I might not have checked out otherwise. And Night Into Dreams, I feel like it's a solid game, you know, like it it. As I say, it has sort of some of the DNA of Sonic in it. It almost feels a bit like a Sonic bonus game, if that makes any sense. Like a bonus stage. Um, it's not that hard uh, to pick up. Um, it certainly looks like it would be hard to master. I mean, I've never gotten a grade above a C on any of these levels. So, kind of a cool game. It's... it's Because you can just skip to whatever other level... Blah. Because you can just skip to whatever level you want after you've unlocked it... It does sort of feel a little casual in that you, wait, I'm stuck. Uh, you don't have to like uh, beat the whole thing in one sitting, like something like Sonic where, you know, you're going level to level. This one, you can just jump to any level you've unlocked. So yeah, it kind of has a bit of that casual feel to it. Um, so yeah, if you if you are into sort of old school 3D games, um, like early 3D games or these sort of like casual, like I don't even know what I'd call this. It's not a platformer, but it's like a 2D, it's almost like a puzzle flyer because some of the puzzle is figuring out the best way to go through some of these routes and stuff. It's not a racing game per se, but yeah, if you're kind of into this kind of weird, um, weird genre that I can't even fully define, um, this seems like a solid game. And certainly if I had a Sega Saturn, uh, this would not have been a bad game to own back in the day. So yeah, it seems, seems solid to me. Um, but those are just my thoughts on the game here, guys. What do you think of Night Into Dreams? Is it a game that you played back in the day? Did you own a Sega Saturn? Were you any good at this game? Um, let me know in the comments down below. Share your memories, your tips, your tricks, your thoughts, your opinions, everything down below. Let me know everything there is to know about Night Into Dreams. As always, my take on things is just my opinion, and I'm uh, always happy to hear alternative opinions as well. Uh, but regardless of what you guys ultimately think of this game, hopefully today was enjoyable and entertaining for you. <laughs> I know we had struggles at the beginning, but I think I overcame them. So hopefully if you are a fan of this game, uh, I did, I did uh, you know, make you happy by the end. And if you've never seen this game before, hopefully you enjoyed seeing the struggle, which is probably a struggle that every gamer's had back in the day trying to play a game you never played and just figuring it out as you go. Trial and error, man. The old school style. So yeah, hopefully you guys had fun. If you did, don't forget to like the video and all that jazz. And uh, other than that, I will catch you guys in the next one. So until then, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. And peace. All right. We're at, we're at the, the boss after the forest, and I have literally no idea what's going on. No clue. What is happening in this boss fight? <laughs> This game is so cryptic, guys. So cryptic. What the hell? I passed the level. <laughs> I have no idea, guys. No idea.